It was a rainy afternoon, the kind where the world seems to slow down and a quiet calf becomes the center of your universe. Liam, a quiet artist, was lost in his book, savoring the solitude. That's when she walked in. Olivia, her laugh filled the room before she even spoke. Her energy was contagious, her smile lighting up the entire space. She noticed Liam sitting by the window and struck up a As the days passed, Liam and Olivia grew closer. They shared their hopes, their dreams, and their fears. Long walks by the lake, quiet moments beneath the sunset, where words weren't necessary. They found comfort in each other's company, a love that blossomed in the simplest moments. They didn't need grand gestures, just each other. With every passing day, they were falling deeper, building a love that felt eternal, as if nothing could tear them. But life, as it often does, had a different plan. It started with small signs fatigue, a hint of weakness. Olivia brushed it off at first, but Liam could see it. Then came the doctor's office, the cold, sterile room, where the words that no one ever wants to hear echoed in their minds. It's terminal. Olivia tried to hold it together, but Liam's heart shattered. He didn't know how to fix this, how to make it go away. Voice over script, Liam couldn't just sit there and watch her slip away. He fought. He searched for any hope, any cure. But Olivia Strong, brave Olivia, saw the truth. She began to pull away, pushing Liam to live a life that wasn't defined by her illness. You deserve more than this, she told him one night. You deserve to live, to be happy. Not like this. Her voice trembled with love, but the pain of watching him suffer heart came when Olivia made her decision. She couldn't bear to watch him watch her fade away. In a quiet park, where they had shared so many memories, she handed him a letter. A letter that would be her final words to him. I will always love you, she whispered, before walking away, leaving Liam standing there, with a heart full of love and a future full of empty space. It was the hardest goodbye, but sometimes, love isn't just holding on, it's letting us world felt darker, colder. Liam's studio, once filled with life and color, was now just an empty room. He sat in front of a blank canvas, unable to create. His heart was shattered, his mind lost in the echo of her absence. Each brushstroke had once carried her spirit, but now, now there was only silence. Nothing felt the same. He couldn't find joy in the things they had once loved. And slowly, grief began to consume him. Then one day, while going through Olivia's belongings, Liam found it the letter she had left behind. His fingers trembled as he opened it. Her words, written with love, filled the page. I know this is hard, Liam, but you can't stop living. You can't stop being the man I fell in love with. I'll always be with you, in every painting you create, in every step you take. Please, live for both of us. For the first time since her death, Liam felt a flicker of hope. Then one day, while going through Olivia's belongings, Liam found it. The letter she had left behind. His fingers trembled as he opened it. Her words, written with love, filled the page. I know this is hard, Liam, but you can't stop living. You can't stop being the man I fell in love with. I'll always be with you in every painting you create, in every step you take. Please, live for both of us. For the first time since her death, Liam felt a flicker of hope. The final painting was more than just a tribute to Olivia. It was a symbol of everything they had shared, everything they had fought for. The lake, bathed in the warm light of a setting sun, reflected the love they had once known. The colors were vibrant, full of life, just like Olivia. As Liam added the last details to the canvas, he realized something. He wasn't painting to hold on to the past. He was painting to carry it forward. Liam knew his journey wasn't over. Olivia was gone, but the love they shared would never fade. As he whispered to her one last time, I will always love you, he realized that her spirit was all around him. In the beauty of the world, in every painting he would ever create.